Hello friends and welcome back to study tonight. In this episode of the what is series, we'll talk about Docker. Imagine you run a garage where you offer services like car wash, wheel alignment, engine repair, AC repair, paint work, etc. All of which requires a different setup and tools. Now if you start doing all this at one place, keeping all the tools together, it will soon lead to a lot of mess and overall efficiency of working will reduce. Whereas if you create different sections inside your garage for all the different services you offer with separate tools and machines for everything, you can properly manage it. Similarly, if you are a developer who is working on multiple different projects that require different setup like different versions of programming languages, different libraries, etc. If you try to do all this on your local machine, all these will create a huge mess because the different versions will create issues for others. But what if, just like the garage, you can create different sections on your local machine too. It is possible with Docker. Using Docker service, we can create virtual containers that are completely separated from each other. And inside these containers, you can install any service or programming language you want, even a different version of operating system. So for example, if you're working on two Python projects side by side, one is a web application using Django framework that uses Python 3.7 version and other one some ML model script using Python 3.8 with NumPy and Scikit library. Because the requirement of the Python version is different for both the projects, you'll have to have both of these versions on your local machine along with the different modules. Having two versions of the same programming language can lead to errors and complications. Now Docker not only simplifies the development of projects, but it also makes deploying a project and managing them super easy. What do you mean by deploying and managing them? Now it's becoming confusing. Wait, let's rewind a little. If you're working on two different projects with different requirements in terms of setup, you can use Docker to set up different containers using Docker files. Yes, Docker file is the key here. To understand Docker, we must know about two different entities, Docker file and Docker image because that's how you create your Docker containers inside which you can do whatever you want to do. Docker file is a YAML file with steps mentioned in it that are used to set up the Docker container. For example, if I need a Linux Alpine operating system with Python 3.7 and Django installed, then I can write commands to set up all this in a Docker file and then use it to ready my container. Once this Docker file is ready, you can use it whenever you want to start the same container over and over again. Another important part of Docker learning is Docker image. So what is this Docker image? Well, if you have to install any software on your Windows machine, you need a .exe file, right? And similarly, on a Mac OS, you need a .dmg file. And on Docker, this is Docker image. If you want to install Linux operating system in your Docker container, you will use Docker image for Linux operating system. If you want to install Python 3.7, you need a Python 3.7 Docker image and so on. Similarly, you have to create a Docker image for the application that you are coding to to run it inside a Docker container, be it a Java application or a Django application or anything else. So for the example's sake, the Django application that we talked about earlier, we will create a Docker image and in the Docker file, we will have the following steps. Install Linux Alpine operating system, install Python 3.7, install Django, run docker image for our application, open port number 80 for the web application, and any other step if required by the application like maybe installing a database. So whatever requirements you mention in the docker file, docker gets docker images for all the services and software that needs to be installed and create the container. But wait, where does docker get these images from? Well, docker has a public repository called docker hub where all the Docker images are uploaded and stored. Docker images for different operating system versions, programming languages, libraries, different bundles like MERN stack, LAMP stack, etc. and different databases are already available that you can install by running a single Docker command. So that's Docker for you. Docker creates containers inside which a different environment can be set up and using Docker images and Docker file, you can easily set up Docker container wherever you want. If you like this video, do check out our other videos of the What Is series as well. And there's a link in the description for the Docker tutorial that we have on our website studytonight.com. You should definitely check it out if you are starting to learn Docker. Do not forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. See you soon in the next video.